Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or of course, if this is your first time here, then just a warm welcome. Let's get lit. So let's just hop right into today's video. You know if you've been here before, I like to talk and I could talk forever and I really don't want to do that to y'all. So let's get right to the point. This is going to be a pretty short and sweet video, but I wanted to make it because I do think it is important. I recently purchased two stunning items from Baze and I wanted to just make this video for you guys because I personally, when searching for reviews on YouTube, did not see anyone who was plus size or curvy doing a review on this bag. Obviously, you can kind of tell if your things are going to fit in the bag or not. And of course, it depends on what you're going to be using it for. That being said, I loved the bag. I purchased it. I also purchased a wallet, which we will get into. But I was really curious to see how my item because obviously a size 4 item and a size 14 are completely different sizes when it comes to like the volume they'll take up in a bag. Making this video is basically just a fun way for me to number one, see how much I can actually fit in this bag because I am a heavy packer. And number two, I wanted anyone who was plus size looking for a review of this bag to make sure that you had somewhere to go that was a direct reference. So I purchased the mini weekender bag. I will be showing you guys somewhere on the screen here in black. It is absolutely stunning. And I also went ahead and purchased this little crossbody wallet. I don't remember the exact name of it right now, but I will have it on the screen. The bag is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I'm glad that I got the mini weekender. Let me show you. See what I mean? So this is it right here. It is an absolutely beautiful bag. It doesn't seem to look that big when I'm holding it here, but it is very large. I'll put the dimensions on the screen. And the main reason I bought this bag is because I refuse to travel with a big suitcase wherever I go. I traveled a few times last year with just a carry-on and I literally will not ever check luggage again unless it's absolutely necessary. So I got this mini weekender bag for the sole purpose of carrying this and a little rolling carry-on onto a plane, hoping that I can get away with this as a personal item. And you know, if not, at least I have a great big bag that I can take on the plane that's got a whole separate compartment for shoes or like dirty laundry, anything like that. So it's just a really beautiful bag and it makes so much sense. I don't know why I never found out about this until now, but anyway. So as you can see, this thing is huge. There is so much room in here. It also comes with a little laptop sleeve. I'm obsessed with that, that it can just come out or I can slide right in. It just adds another kind of layer of protection. Even if I'm bringing an iPad, I usually will just throw it into my purse or my backpack, whatever I'm bringing as a personal item on a plane. I'm always paranoid it's going to get smashed. And of course, the other thing I'm going to show you guys a little bit closer on the screen is this beautiful, beautiful. wallet slash crossbody purse. Um, this is absolutely stunning. I'm really glad I got the beige. I was kind of stuck between colors, but this is just gorgeous. Also, the fact that it comes with a pen, I am constantly the person on the plane who's like, does anyone have a pen? When I have to do customs forms, so. And the other thing that is great is you have a deep compartment here for a passport, and you have currency, so something for money, and then of course down here, you can put all of your coins. I'm somebody that basically, unless I'm going out of the country, so out of Canada, I don't ever bring cash with me. Everything is just tap, 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 tap. So I love that it's got a bunch of separate kind of inserts here for any of your cards. And then of course you can put your license, anything here. This item of course is not something I needed to show you if you're plus size, but just so you guys know, there is a fairly long adjustable kind of strap for the crossbody as well. Or you can also wear it as a wristlet, which is adorable. I'll just show you guys quickly. I have a iPhone 8 Plus. It is very chunky. It's a very snug fit, but it does go in. Okay, all of my notifications of my friends that I'm ignoring. So as you can see, it does go in there perfectly fine. You can push it down more if you want. Um, but the other thing I love, because I would probably use this more for like, like a boarding pass or something as opposed to my phone. So my phone would probably just go right in here. And then of course you can just close that, zip that up. And then you just zip it in there and you can just of course wear it like a little crossbody or a wristlet. It's got that kind of cracked leather effect all over the bag and the strap as well. So I just disconnected the little wristlet one just so you guys can see. There's actually only one U-ring, whatever you want to call that, to attach this to. So you could of course wear it like, like a crossbody or you can just wear it on your side like a shoulder bag, whatever you want to do. There's a lot you can do with it, which is why I loved it. But I'll probably be using it more so as just a wallet with no kind of attachments to it, maybe just the wristlet one, mostly just because I'm someone who always is paranoid of losing my passport. So I loved the fact that all of my money documentation and my passport can be in one place instead of having like a small wallet and then like somewhere else for my passport because <laughs> 
The amount of times I have been at the airport and reached in my bag and been like, where the f is my passport? And it's like been in my hand is kind of ridiculous. So as you guys can see, the black bag also has some of that beautiful cracked leather detailing on the bottom. It's got that stunning kind of flat, but also like 3D engraved kind of base on there. I love that it's got the little feet on the bottom of the bag. So even if you put the bag onto the ground, it's not like the bottom of the bag touching the ground. So it's nice and clean. One of the other main selling features for me was this structured top here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's got like a structured opening. So this doesn't just like fall apart and collapse. Like once you open it, it's staying open. So you're not having like a kind of lax bag up here. I really like that because I like things in specific places, even in my purse, even if it's like a small bag I have, I keep specific things in specific areas of my bag. So I really like that because I know exactly where I can dive into or if I need to dig around for some clothes or something, this isn't constantly having to be like held up while you're digging because like I said, I'm a big packer and I don't have time for that. The beautiful soft straps, by the way, oh my God, they're like plush enough that they're not gonna dig into your shoulder, but they're very strong feeling and they're just so stunning. Tons of pockets inside, attached key ring in there. So if you need to, you know, attach anything to that. Like I said before, I probably won't be using this with the long strap. This is something that I would more so attach in the bag. So I know where my money and my passport is. So just so you guys can see it like that, that's probably what I would be doing. And then this would be going obviously in the big bag. And then if I need to get anything, it can't go anywhere, bitch, because it's attached. These in total cost me $222. That's including taxes, and they cover all of the duties and customs fees. The shipping cost to Canada was very expensive, but like I just said, she's including duties and customs. That's that. Anyway, I'm going to bring you guys over to my bed. Not like that. I have all of my clothes laid out on my bed. I packed pretty much like if I was going away for like an extended weekend holiday, so like three or four days, so yeah. <laughs> so I have one hoodie, one jean jacket, one pair of jeans, one pair of bike shorts, one pair of culottes. Ooh, I already have a lot. God damn, what is wrong with me? I have one cute little dress for going out for dinner. I have three t-shirts. I have two tank tops, two bras, five pairs of underwear because I pack like I'm gonna shit my pants every day a nightie and my makeup bag and a pair of sunglasses. So that's a lot of stuff. I'm excited to see if everything's gonna fit. So let's see. Okay y'all, so I know I did just tell you about what I'm bringing, but I wanted to show you an actual visual of it before I start packing it so you can see how much is actually going in the bag. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, I'm bringing a pair of running shoes as per usual, which is basically when I go anywhere I bring running shoes. Okay, so I had to move some things around and fold things differently, but I did end up getting my swimsuit, my big puffy sweater. Of course, I have my makeup bag sitting right on top, so I'm gonna zip this top part up. So like I said, guys, this is the reason I'm doing this video. Everything of mine is bigger, whether I crunch it, fold it, you know, roll it, it takes up more room. So if I wasn't gonna use it for more of a personal item, then I would have just gone with the weekender and not the mini weekender, which would not have been a problem at all. But keep in mind, I think this is like their second smallest bag, so so I probably end up just removing the big sweater and taking the lighter sweater and then maybe just wearing this as a crossbody or I'm sure I could put this in one of the pockets at the front or the back. That's the end of the video. Basically, as you saw, the only thing I was unable to fit into the suitcase were a second pair of shoes into the bottom compartment, which to be fair, they never claimed that two pairs of shoes can go in there, I don't think. So all in all, if you guys are looking for a really well-made practical bag, I would absolutely recommend this bag. You do lose about maybe four inches of the bottom of that bag of the depth to put in your shoes or anything. It's made really well. It's black, which I love. It's got the leather accent on like a 
canvasy type matte material, which I love. I think it's absolutely stunning aesthetically, and it's very practical. I love the fact that the bottom zips. I think it might zip all the way off. I will make sure to tell you guys that. I know the shipping is kind of expensive, but just remember they are covering all of your duties and all of your customs fees. So that's that on that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that little notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads, okay? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Toodles.